many of us fell asleep last night showers even a couple of heavy thunderstorms so there's good and bad news to that the good news though is the cold front is basically right over top of us so our section of the front we're at least seeing anything in the way of storms die out and that's keeping anything especially in the way of storms even a couple stronger severe storms you can see from parts of tennessee down to mississippi and alabama but the bad news though with the cold front is still look at all the cloud cover behind it so can't roll out some drizzle maybe a stray shower today and unfortunately we're not done with precept chances just yet now there's not going to be one day over the next six seven days where it's just going to be a complete washout it's just going to be a few spotty chances here and there that includes today with a little bit of drizzle maybe a stray shower second cold front tries to move on through sunday and even though showers not a guarantee for everyone i do expect to see showers in the valley but not everyone's going to see them and same could be said for our day on monday and tuesday where we're going to see winds try to move back around the low pressure that could bring us some lake effect snow showers both monday and tuesday once again not everyone sees it all at once and even if you do see those snow showers don't expect much really if any in the way of accumulation but temperature so after the double cold fronts move on through notice a big dip as we start next week we're still above average today tomorrow sunday just about average but monday and tuesday with those lake effect snow showers good chance we see our temperatures take a brief dip it's not going to be extended period of cold because by wednesday we're back just a little bit below average in the 40s but by thursday good chance we're back into the 50s and that warmer trend likely stays with us as well but as we start the morning currently 59 here in wheeling with our warm spot of 60 up into new philadelphia as well as our cool spot of 56 in the caddis and unfortunately this is the warmest we're going to see things for our day today so as the cold front moves on through temperatures i do expect just to slowly drop throughout the day it's more so just going to be a degree about every three or so hours so by lunchtime we're in the mid 50s by dinner time we drop into the low 50s and even back into the 40s possibly into the upper 30s overnight tonight and into tomorrow so good news it's still at least mild it's at least going to feel comfortable today it's just we have to deal with the clouds this morning showers for the meantime out of the area might see a stray shower this morning up through lunchtime, but really once we get towards 10 to 1, it's more so just going to be drizzled. Even by dinner time, we try to clear out a bit, so can't rule out a stray pocket or sunshine, but past dinner time, past sunset, I do expect things to clear out, so good chance we could see some fog. Could be dense in spots to develop, especially around sunrise tomorrow, but that quickly clears on out. So by lunchtime and on, pretty much clear skies throughout the day tomorrow that's still going to allow our temperatures to remain just a bit above average so tomorrow afternoon just about 59 here in wheeling but a few spots try to push into the 60s like 62 in st mary's but as cool as 58 in the woodsfield on up through Carrollton. but by sunday we continue that cooling trend just a chance for a stray shower early in the morning but much of the day remains dry then monday and tuesday temperatures stuck in the 30s with that chance for a few lake effect snow showers then 46 mainly clear for our day on Wednesday and back to the 50s. 56, mainly clear for our day on Thursday.